Joel, Chancellor Kevin Guskowitz noting that they have worked closely with the Cates family on this memorial, adding it was developed following input by the university community. The energy and enthusiasm in the pit, a staple of UNC's campus experience. But for many, the excitement and joy that happen here on a daily basis overshadow its most traumatic event. It just feels off that the pit can be seen as a place for celebration of student life while also holding the blood of someone who was murdered there as a direct act of white supremacy. Back in 1970, James Cates Jr. was stabbed to death outside the student union following a party by three men, part of a white supremacist gang. The trio were charged with first degree murder, but acquitted by an all white jury. Greensboro City Council member Hugh Holston graduated UNC in 1982 and is the chair of the UNC Black Alumni Reunion. He was on campus. He was invited on campus. Uh, it was supposed to be a safe, a, a safe place for him. Ended up not being a safe place. So we have to confront our, our past, otherwise we are doomed to repeat it. Details of the memorial, including when it will be displayed, have not yet been revealed, though Holston hopes it could be up by next month's Black Alumni Reunion, in which 1,200 to 2,000 people are expected to attend. It would be wonderful, wonderful for us to be able to celebrate the life of James Kate and uh, memorialize him in the pit, uh, com coming back together as a group. Cates' grandmother worked at the school, and he lived in a nearby neighborhood. Four years after his death, Cates' cousin, Valerie Fushi, would attend UNC. Fushi, now a state senator representing the district, releasing a statement with other family members, writing in part, We were pleased to hear that the university is planning to recognize our beloved brother and cousin, James Lewis Cates Jr., with a memorial. Similar to our sentiments about the cold case investigation that the U.S. Department of Justice opened this year, we are grateful for this development while also acknowledging our heartbreak that it has taken more than 50 years to get here. In Chapel Hill, I'm Michael Perchik, ABC 11 Eyewitness news.